Alrighty. New clip here. Let's watch this. And... Okay. There's some good stuff in there. I will probably give the end another 10 frames. Feels like we're just going <laughs> and cut. It's almost like you want a bit of a, a resting point there. Other than that, there is some good stuff in there. What I would say in terms of kind of polishy things, like when you have like a side step like this, you look at the angle of that foot, but then this is pretty flat. I think you can easily go even more rotated this way so that this side comes down first. And then if you go like this, this feels like the foot roll is just activated towards like basically in your channel, you just have foot roll on, but I would put banking pivoting off this side towards us, if that makes sense, because you're going this way with the character as in towards camera, but this feels like this is just a foot roll activated. And I think you can go this and then towards us, which I does a little bit of a look that his left knee goes forward, forward, up, and then something to the right. So you can kind of tweak that either with the hip thing or with the foot roll to make this up a bit more, a bit less poppy. Again, this coming down is a bit odd because it has a little bit of an ease in. I guess you can slow down a little bit, but then I will go down and touch with the toes first. And again, banking where it's touching this side more than this. This feels like we're getting right as you actually um, put the foot down, it's all flat. There's a little bit of a complexity in there. I think that's pretty cool here. As you lift, you can see it's kind of pulled this way and it has a slight rotation pivoting off the toes, which is pretty good. But then careful at the very end, it feels like it's just that, but nothing else in here. You can have a little bit of finishing rotation just as this plants. Like these are like that, like super polishy, super polishy notes. Making sure that this one also is not completely flat. I see a side here, I think just means it's rotated this way, which is good. So just kind of polishy things like that. But I think your polish and arcs of arms all seems pretty good. You might argue that right through there, we're kind of moving away from camera to maybe have a bit of a bigger arc, but it's, it's minimal. I'm mostly looking at spacing wise just because we're here and then it gets a bit over, then it kind of stays there, it goes to the right. And then, whoops, then as we go to the right, the spacing is much bigger there. You can see that goes up and whoops, suddenly to the right. You can almost have a little bit of a higher arc getting in there. I think that's a bit much in your drag in the wrist. Just a tad there. I have, the biggest comments are probably right when you sit down, but I do want to, and I know you said that's from reference and maybe it's just, Again, not that it's super wrong. I mean, there are uh, you can use you can Google crossed arms, and you there is this pose in it. I think I'm just mainly thinking in terms of there's going to be one arm hands that's underneath the forearm and the bicep, and one where it comes out and only the fingers are visible. I think that's always in my mind when I think in terms of um, crossed arms. Right, so it could be. Crossed arms, one underneath. Here's another one underneath. You know, like this is, it always seems, I know it's there. Some people have it, but it always feels almost uncomfortable. Like it's kind of trying to rest on there. That's the same one. And then here's like some other Google. So like this one, he has both on there. But even then it has at least a little bit of a, hold on, let me bring up my drawing tool. A bit of a push up with a grouping of fingers, which gives us a nice little contrast. So at least that. But you know, I, I don't. I did like a quick search, and it's again, it might just be me, or maybe I don't know. Maybe it's like a specific thing that I'm just gravitating towards. But to me, it's always one hand in compared to both on there. And I see. I guess you have a little bit of a grouping there. It just seems. It just seems like it's trying to rest. I don't. It's just this feeling of 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 not having weight and maybe it's because how this goes down if this arm was like this and the wrist was up a bit so that if there's a slight feeling of weight like this on there if that makes sense right the weight the imaginary weight 
brings this down so that the risk goes up a bit. And then careful, I'm not sure if this me let me zoom in here. See see how the fingers here and then they go out. This is just it adds to me to the feeling of like this is not really on it. Like this even here the fingers go down and like the whole finger slide. And that's why to me it doesn't feel like it's actually across arms, however you have it. It's at least one side that's fairly locked. You can't see what I'm doing this. Even if I have both arms out, there's a certain feeling of at least one side that would be really locked in. It wouldn't that move that much. So when you have something like this, all I'm seeing is, besides the angle of those, kind of almost trying to stay the same for some of the frames there. I just feel like there's an interlocking and weight on this. But the biggest comment is that this is almost pose to pose. I know he sits down here. We have one, two, one frame. See so that there's like a one frame completion and then you already go up. And this is something odd to me where it's only one frame. He goes really low, was almost trying to look at it. Like his thighs. It feels just, it feels like the return is very fast. The return as when you go down, down, and immediately up. You know, there's like a one frame direction change. So this feels, boom, feels really hard. It's really fast, which adds to that bump feeling. And this feels almost uncomfortable in how, how compressed he is versus maybe between these two max. And then once we get to here, watch out, there's a... I see how this ends first and the head is ending at the end. But because of that, you can go through this. And again, I'm gonna try to go in a bit more to this here. Like there's a little bit in here. And then it kind of locks a bit. I see some pixels moving. I mean, it's mostly because I zoomed in. And then at the very end, it really feels like it's mostly the head. So watch out for polish that there's still some movement in there. Especially through here. I go through this. And I don't really feel like there's anything going on in here. And then that's the end, right? Because then he goes down. Then again, it feels at the very end, that last frame is mostly in here. I see a little bit shimmering in there it just has a general feel of watch out once you're done like that and you're just doing those last moves here and here right so you go up and then we stop it suddenly feels like everything is only in here rotating out of here with not much going on in here this is good i do like how the legs come in it's just something in here and also probably because i'm still looking at those hands there's never really a change in the hand pose and finger pose through all of this. Like once we're here, it feels like that's it. That's the finger pose you have and nothing else is changing. Which again, it just adds to the feeling of just kind of, they're there, just placed, parent or whatever it is, without, without life that is reacting to this or being influenced by, you know, all the rest. If that makes sense. I really hope that makes sense. But I know you've been laboring over this and it's totally fine if you don't continue because i think this has this started off i mean already in a, in a good place but it's definitely so much better than what you started with so i think you can totally just look at those notes ingest those and then think about your next shot it's probably like a jumping that we talked about um and you don't have to do one more version of this if you don't want to all righty thanks all right there's an email, you can sign up, you can start whenever you want, you can submit whenever you want, you get 16 submissions. Either way, a like and subscribe would be awesome. All right, thank you.